Another big story tonight, job losses, falling retirement accounts, and banks curbing their lending. Worried investors are closely watching Wall Street after stocks tanked yesterday with a massive 800-point sell-off marking the worst day of the year for the market. Right now, it's all coming down to fears of a recession, but are those fears overblown? It comes down to one big economic indicator called the yield curve, and Team 12's William Pitts is here to explain what that is. Here's the yield curve for dummies, and by dummies, I mean pretty much anyone who's not in finance. There's the stock market, which you've heard about, and the bond market, which you probably haven't. Bonds are those things grandma used to buy you. It's like a loan to the government. You give the government money and the government promises to pay you back at a later date. We're only talking about two kinds of bonds, the two-year bond or a 10-year bond. Now, because the government has a lot longer to pay you back with a 10-year bond, they make it a little sweeter for you. That means you normally get more money when that bond comes due in 10 years. It's like asking to borrow 50 bucks. If I pay you back tomorrow, you'd probably just give me the 50 bucks. But if I can't pay you back until, say, next year, well, then you're probably going to want a little something extra. The money you get back is called the yield. Now, if you draw out how much money you're going to get out of those bonds, that's called the yield curve. The top one is the 10-year. The bottom one is the two-year. 10-year is supposed to be higher than the two-year. But when those two cross, that's when you've got a problem. It means you're getting more money out of the two-year bond than the 10-year bond, not the way it should be. It's a sign that people are not confident in the government's ability to pay back those loans in 10 years. And that's why it usually signals a recession. It's predicted the last five anyway. We tend to teach that the markets are really unpredictable, but we always look for patterns. But economists never really agree on anything. So there are some who don't think this curve is a good indicator anymore. There are others who say it just confirms what they already thought. If a signal is truly effective, then people will place bets based on that signal and that will eliminate its effectiveness as a predictor. So all economists have is history. Either way, historically, a recession hits anywhere from six months to a year and a half after the curve flips. William Pitts, 12 News.